Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a Young and BTS possible collab with Alicia Keys. We hope so. This is going to be a little update on the lip syncing thing. Young had a video a little while ago where he lip synced to Alicia Keys' song. So we'll get into what happened with that, the update. I think it's very cute and fun. I also want to get into Jin clapping back to some comments to a post on Weverse. This is very funny. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the hot and spicy tea today. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you use a hater, I'd like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Now let's start with the whole Alicia Keys and Taeyang thing. So did you know that they're actually like besties? Like I'm married to Taeyang and Taeyang and Alicia Keys are like besties? I'm totally kidding. We don't actually know that, but we definitely do know that they do acknowledge each other. And they're very public about being fans of each other. So if you don't know what happened, let me just wrap it up real quick, give you some context. So right before the B album was officially released, and right before the Life Goes On music video was released, Tan posted this little clip of him in his car with a face mask on. I never wanted to be a face mask so bad in my life. And in the background, you can hear a lovely female singer. And guess who? It was our lovely girl, Alicia Keys. And you can definitely see that Tan is like lip syncing along, just really enjoying and vibing out to the song. And no doubt Alicia Keys is an icon and her songs are iconic. Tan and BTS, they also iconic. So we have two amazing icons together. Like I can't even imagine the whole damage that this will cause to the earth if we put these two icons together. Like earthquakes are bad, but they're gonna have to name this something else because it's gonna hit different. The world's going to feel it, you know? They're gonna feel movement when these icons come together. I love the ideas so much. Tang really knows a lot about iconic American singers, and I think it's really wonderful that he went ahead and decided to study them. Now, a lot of people were kind of freaking out when Alicia Keys did decide to confess her love after the Taeyang car video, talking about BTS and Taeyang, thanking them for kind of honoring Alicia Keys' song. She put a little tweet on the tweet star. Now, nothing really happened after that. It was kind of silent on both ends, and I thought, okay, I guess that's that. Now, fast forward to yesterday, where our icon, Miss Keys over here, decided to kill and stab armies. Like, we can't breathe anymore. In the best possible way, of course. She can stab me any day. Now, Alicia Keys decided to post a little piano cover of Life Goes On. She posted it on Twitter, and I literally could not breathe. Her voice is so amazing. Obviously, I can't post it here, but trust, it's good. So armies went a little crazy, as we usually do. A lot of people were freaking out. What does this mean? Like, is it just a simple, oh, Alicia Keys likes BTS's song? Or is it like more? Is it like hinting towards something? Like, things like this in the music industry rarely happen for no reason. I I mean, it could, it could be for no reason. Sometimes it's just two artists wanting to do something and that's it. But sometimes, sometimes it hints towards a collaboration. And I know when BTS does do something, it usually means something. So maybe Taeyang, when he lip synced the song, it meant something. I don't know, just the theory, just speculating. Nothing is confirmed. I mean, I doubt BTS wouldn't want to work with Alicia Keys. I think they would. And I think Alicia Keys would love to work with BTS. So can we make this happen? Like, I don't think y'all like grasp how amazing this could be. First off, vocals aside, Alicia Keys represents like black people pretty well, I'd say. And most Asians love BTS. BTS represents Asians pretty well. So like them together, can you imagine the cultural boundaries they'd break? Literally dead. I am thinking, I am hoping that this could possibly mean something would happen with Alicia Keys and Tan for the mixtape. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. But if not, can y'all go ahead and tweet that and make it happen? Like, oh my god. Obviously, nothing is confirmed. I am just hoping. And I definitely wanted to see what some people over on the tweetster were saying about this. One person wrote, Oh my god, wait, is this Alicia's song? The one that Tay played in his car? There's a collaboration? Right? So I'm not crazy. I am crazy, but I'm not crazy about this. Other people think so too. Uh, I can totally imagine Alicia and Tay at the Grammy singing a song together. Everyone in the audience literally just dies. Like when you see the audience, it's just dead bodies. I wanna see a Grammy of just dead bodies. Is that too much to ask? Other people on the tweets were asking her to collab with Tam and just straight up requesting it. They were saying things like this. We need a collaboration. You go queen, you ask what you want. I support you. I really hope if not Tam's mixtape, BTS possibly considers a collab or something. Maybe Alicia Keys could have Sugar or any of the other members of the rap line kind of be in one of her R&B songs as like a rap feature. It would be really cool. Maybe Alicia and Mr. Worldwide Handsome. Maybe they're more each other's taste. I am kidding, by the way. I know Alicia's married, so. But Jin was recently online, and he had some hot and steamy photos. BTS and Big Hit were doing something called Weverse Magazine, which has to be something new, right? Like, I haven't heard about this, and I feel kind of dumb. I don't recall this being a thing before. But basically, they started to release photos of each member. I don't think all of them are out yet. And I think the point of these photos is to sell the magazine. Again, I'm not entirely sure. But I saw Tang's pictures floating around, which I'm not going to get into 
right now because I will literally die. I know that I say that in every video that like, oh, BTS looks good, whatever. But like this time he looks good, good. Like he's on another level of hot. I don't even know how to explain. It's like this like rugged handsomeness mixed in with this like elegant soft features. And then he has amazing skin and it's like really high quality camera. And then the outfits, oh, the outfits. What is breathing even right now? But also Jin, Mr. Worldwide Handsome. That is who we're talking about now. Mr. Car Door Guy. Mr. Guy with glasses. He is so hot. He looks so sultry in these pictures. So mature, so beautiful. The pictures also look so romantic. And it's just overall like a beautiful photo. It's like they know that these are the photos that we're gonna use on the background of our phones. These are gonna be photos that we're gonna wanna stare at all the time. There's various photos and they're all very simple. It looks like it's just Jin with a white backdrop and then like a studio light. But the lighting is so good and so perfect for him. It's very soft. And he even has this one picture of him in like a chair. Yo, I told myself this morning and I told my therapist that I will not be jealous of inanimate objects. There is no point. I need to calm down, but ooh, I am so jealous to be the chair. To be something that Jin leans on. If I can't be the chair, can I be the floor? Imagine being so lucky to be born as a chair. And I know he's had brown hair for a little while now, but he looks really good in the brown hair too. I love it so much. It really suits him. So now those photos were posted on Weverse, obviously. And there was a little caption that was written there in Korean, which it says 19 there. See, I can read Korean. I know that it says 19 there. So I went online to see what it was translated to. Apparently it said, please screw off, and then the virus. Name. Now with magazines and stuff like that, I assume it's not usually posted by the BTS boys. At least I don't think. I think it's posted by the magazine editors. Those who decide what's going to be the best photos for the magazine. And they're the ones who decide the caption or what they call the copyright. So they'll sometimes ask the artist for like a statement. And apparently Jin did give them a statement. Jin gave them an expletive. Now in the comments, Jin decides to kind of clap back, have some words with the words that he wrote. So he wrote this. They really published that. Girl, my Jin baby. Why would you say a statement that you didn't one published. I'm literally crying. This is so funny. He was like, I can't believe that's what they used. Hilarious. I love it. But also it's a pretty good quote. That's how we feel right now. Of course, I wanted to get a little bit more clarity online. So I decided to kind of like look on the tweets there to see what other people's interpretation of this was. And one person wrote this. This is from his interview of Weaver's magazine, which is posted in Korean. Get lost or go away is quite informal, like a slang. I think Jin is saying that he didn't expect it was published without filtering, purifying those words. If this was true, apparently Jin decided to like cuss or something. If this was true, maybe Jin used a cuss or something, which I'm definitely surprised and I assume Jin is as well that they didn't redact that. It should have been like redacted off virus. <laughs> but hey, let's keep curse words of BTS in interviews. I know they're not supposed to curse and all that stuff, but I think it's kind of hot. Jin's like the oldest, so if anyone can curse, it's him. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. As always, I do have a Patreon. I have a lot of exclusive content over there that I can't really post on here. This is because it's like copyrighted or they'll get taken down if I put it on here. So I do keep it over there. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, all that stuff over there. Link is in the top of the description down below. You can also request things over there if you'd like to do that. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel and all that stuff. I have a video over there explaining that. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.